1,497 individual valid credit cards. Walter Kavanagh from California has accumulated this collection over his lifetime, and for that reason, this gentleman has been called Mr. Plastic Fantastic. Even though it looks a little mm, silly and unrealistic, I believe he is a smart guy. Trust me, if you are asking yourself how many credit cards is too many, watch this video all the way to the end, and I promise you will fully agree with me. So the average American carries 2.35 credit cards. That is not a big number, but according to the Federal Reserve, Americans owe over $1 trillion in credit card debt. Why is that so? It's quite clear that today we are more likely to pay with a credit card than with cash. This is Mr. Johnson. He's a professor of biology. How many credit cards does he have? Five, ladies and gentlemen. On top of that, he's considering applying for another one. We could say, hey, you are pretty smart when it comes to the physical structure, chemical processes, development and evolution of living organisms, but you suck at personal finance because you already have two times as much as the average person. But the thing is, Mr. Johnson is a hardworking person who has $400,000 in his retirement account. He's working really hard, but he never left the US. At the age of 54, he and his lovely wife decided to visit France, Japan and Africa. In other words, they are about to become active travelers. And for that purpose, for that particular purpose, he is looking for the best travel credit card. His credit score is 740 and his current credit card debt is only $1000. I have a question. Is applying for another credit card for a specific purpose, in this case for traveling, a smart choice or not? Well, we don't know, but it might be a smart choice. In other words, six credit cards is not too many in his case, because, because he has some level of understanding on how to manage his finances, and a small current debt is evidence of that. On the other end, Billy. He's 25, unemployed, lives with his parents, sits around and plays video games all day long. He has only one credit card, but his debt is out of control, he simply doesn't know how to pay it off. As smart as he thought idea came to his mind. Why not apply for another credit card to pay off his current debt? He's never heard about balance transfer, he's not that good at math, Billy just needs another, second credit card from another bank. What's your opinion? Two credit cards. Is it too many for one person? For this person? In my opinion, six credit cards for Mr. Johnson is not too many. On the other hand, for Billy, the second one is madness. Are you getting it? It's not about numbers. It's about how you manage your finances, how you understand fiscal commission spending principles before you apply for another credit card. You must fully understand why you need it and you must have full control over your debt. You might be interested in my opinion. I prefer to pay, as Dave Ramsey suggests, in cash. If I ever decide to buy that luxury car, first, I will have to make that money, and second, I'll see if I really need it. First you make money, second you spend it. Simple as that. This is what I'm used to. If I die today, my family will inherit my savings, not my debts. There are people, and I would call them smart people, who avoid using credit cards. Yes, it's possible to live and enjoy your life without credit cards. But you still need a number, don't you? It's like, how many kids should I have or how many guns is too many? Now you might be wondering, why did I say that a gentleman who has 1500 credit cards is a smart guy? Well, I don't know him personally, but I do know that not only has Walter Kavanagh got into the Guinness Book, but also he's a retired financial planner who is famous for his quote, 
Never use a card to buy anything you can't pay off in a couple of months. If you don't have the discipline, you shouldn't have the cards. Be careful and attentive when watching videos and reading articles on personal finances, especially when it comes to credit cards. Some folks have one goal in mind – to make you click their affiliate link, which will bring them an affiliate commission. I don't promote credit cards, but I do have some great links below this video. In case you need some great tools to manage your finances, get ready for the coming financial crash and learn more about about investing, be sure to check all the links that I've put in the description box. If you learned something new, consider giving this video a like, subscribe and let me know what you think about credit cards. See you!